Hey guys, it's Jake and I wanted to show you a fantastic example of using scarcity and exclusivity in your marketing. It's actually something that I fell for pretty hard. So I've got this package right here and I'm really excited to show you what's in it because I think it's a fantastic example. So let's open that up first. Check this plaque out. Okay, this is, uh, let me set the stage and tell you a little bit about this. So when I'm doing my online marketing, I use a software called ClickFunnels, which is a fantastic software for creating sales funnels and your shopping cart experience and all that stuff. Anyway, they do a fantastic job. When you first sign up for ClickFunnels, they kind of set the stage for you. They're teaching you inspirational messages, right? They're marketing to people that wanna make a lot of money and start their own businesses and as part of that, they also kind of drop the hints and start telling you about this exclusive club that they have that's called the Two Comma Club. Now, all it is, that means you do a million dollars in sales using their software, which is pretty awesome, right? But it's amazing how much that has affected their culture and their marketing and everything that they do as a company. So when I saw that, you know, I where we're at in my business, doing a million dollars in sales is not necessarily like, a huge uh, leap, but even still, I saw this plaque and I saw this idea of like belonging to some exclusive club and I wanted to be above it, but my primal nature just got to me and I wanted to get one of these things. And I think they did a fantastic job. If you look at their social media, there's all these people that are just shooting for this goal. So I think what they did right, let's analyze what they did right. So. First of all, they set the stage of hope that you're gonna be able to accomplish your goals using their product, right? Um, and then in case you don't have a goal, for these people that are signing up for ClickFunnels or for their product that don't necessarily have a revenue goal, they kind of made one for them, right? They said, when you hit a million dollars, then you're going to be part of an exclusive club, which is, you know, age old tactic, but it works. That's why Rolex is popular. Um, that's why high-end luxury cars work because they're sort of a symbol of status. Anyway, I fell for this thing hard. So even though I knew I could make it, I really wanted, I'm kind of actually embarrassed a little bit by how much um, I wanted this. And so we did a million dollars in sales or whatever, and then I filled out my paperwork and they have to custom order these. Obviously this is not like just some run of the mill thing that they just get printed. Um, but, I checked the mailbox every day for two months waiting for this. I'm kind of embarrassed by that. But that's how much it affected me. That idea of belonging to something or being part of an exclusive group or something really got to me. And it works in a lot of other marketing. I've noticed in a lot of my stuff, when I use scarcity, real scarcity, you don't wanna fake it, but when there's exclusivity or you know, not everybody can get it or limited quantity. It's one of the most powerful motivators to get people to take action. Anyway, I thought it was a brilliantly executed strategy to get, create this two comma club award. And, uh, and it got me, I really wanted it. So I worked hard for it. Um, and there it is, it's beautiful, beautiful plaque. Um, but fantastic example of using scarcity. So anyway, think of things that you can do in your business to create that sort of culture of growth and you know getting your people excited about using your product. I'm still trying to think of some stuff for di my different businesses, um, but I think it, this was a fantastic example and I'm noodling on some of those. So um, great job of doing that, ClickFunnels. If you're interested in ClickFunnels, by the way, um, I'll probably put a link down below so you can check it out. It's uh, highly recommend the software that will do a lot of your stuff for you. So anyway, great example. Just wanted to share that thought and uh, have a good day. Like this if you like it, comment for the community, and share if you really care. Coming up next on Creative Juice. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to make your Instagram photos pop with light. <laughs>